In this video, I wanted to discuss some of the things that you can do using central control. Because the software is so inherently modular, the list of things you can do just goes on and on. But for today, we're going to do three things. Number one, we're going to MIDI map a Blackmagic ATM switcher. Two, we're going to add a physical audio mixer and pan tilt zoom control to a TriCaster. And three, we're going to remote control vMix by repurposing a NewTek LC11 control surface. So let's jump right in. So to get started, the first thing I need to do is add an ATEM to my project. So if I click Add Device, um, we'll select ATEM, click OK. Now I need to know the IP address, mine's already typed in, so if I enable it, I'm now connected to the ATEM. The next thing I need to do is I need to add this APC Mini to my project. So we'll go to Add Device once again, scroll down to APC Mini, click OK, set the MIDI ports. Great. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to set, decide on what colors I want my LEDs to be. So I'm going to have the uh, bottom row as being green for the uh, preview row and then we'll have these ones red for the program row. So we go to open this window, I press a button, it selects it automatically. I'm going to change this to green. I do the same for all of them. And then I'm going to set these two here we're going to have this one as yellow and this one as yellow. Now, if I click uh, APC Mini and go to device mapping, the device mapping window comes up. I'm going to click jump to control. Now I've selected a button. Now I select the device I want to control, which in this case is the ATEM. And I'm going to select a command. So the first one we'll do is we'll do the preview row. So I'll click set preview row. So I can see all the list of inputs here and I'm going to click camera one and return on this quick assign button. So all I need to do is for all eight buttons, we're gonna press the row above, go to that button and then I'm gonna click set program row. I go back to camera one. And that's that, I've mapped the preview and the program row. Now for these ones, which I set to yellow, if you remember, I'm gonna assign them to be my DSK button. I'm gonna assign the last fader to the T-bar on the ATEM. Now, if I pull up the software control panel, you'll see as I start to punch along the preview row, I'm changing the inputs on the ATEM. I can do the same for the program row. I can also take keys on and off. That easy, I've got control of the T-bar from my MIDI controller, full hands-on control. So the next thing I wanted to look at was how we can use central control to add extra hardware control to a TriCaster. Um, I've already actually got one in my project today because I'm using some of the buttons here to switch uh, while I produce this video. So we'll add another system here. We will add a TriCaster VMC. Let's start mapping some functionality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the device mapping window and this time we're going to add another layer because I've only got eight plus the master fader on here and I've got more channels than that in the TriCaster. So we will add two layers. So we'll click add layer. We've got another layer. The first thing I'm going to do is add buttons to switch between the layers. I want to mark these as absolute. So no matter what layer I'm on, I always have these buttons. So I'm going to go select X touch compact from down here and I'll add set layer. I'll add layer one to layer A and then to the B button, we'll add layer two. So now I've got buttons down here to switch between layers. If I go over to faders, I can now start assigning faders and as we've seen before, we'll use the quick assign feature to really, really quickly assign these. So I'll just go from input one and I will click add command. Eight. And now I'm gonna jump over to layer two and I'm gonna to go to my internal sources and masters, stuff like that for these this next page of faders. So again, I'll click through these. And then on layer one, I'm gonna assign the master fader and I'm gonna mark that absolute. So no matter what page I'm on, I always have control of that fader. So we will add the master here, it's already selected. Now, if we switch over to the TriCaster, you'll see I have full control of its mixer right here from this X-Touch Compact. I can switch between pages as you'd expect from a digital mixer. 
and then again the main fader follows what we're doing no matter what page I'm on in the mixer. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to map the Xbox controller to control a PTZ camera in the TriCaster. Now I don't actually have one so what we'll do is we'll use the new um, virtual pan tilt zoom ability in Advanced Edition 3. So if we jump back over to Central Control I'll go and add a new device and we'll add an Xbox 360 controller. Go on to device mapping and we'll go over to axes. For the left stick's X axis I'm going to go to TriCaster and we'll do pan tilt zoom pan and I'll select input free which is a screen capture and I'm going to do that as the pan add that we'll go to the y-axis add a tilt and on the x-axis on the y-axis sorry of the uh, right stick I'm going to add a zoom now if I turn this on and I switch over back over to the TriCaster you'll see a full pan tilt zoom control over the um, third input on the system which is this this screen capture here actually let's look at something else so for the last demo I thought we'd switch it up a bit rather than controlling something that's here I thought it'd be more interesting if we were to control something that wasn't here which is why I brought a good friend of mine Steve Matthews on to demonstrate how we can remotely control a vmix in another place you've also got central control on your end and an LC11 so to get started with this what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new vmix to my project so I'll scroll down to vmix and I'm going to call this one Steve's Remix. Click OK. I need to type in the IP address and I'm going to turn it on. Next step is I'm going to add my own LC11. I'm going to hit turn on jump to control so I can easily locate my button. Um, we'll scroll down to Steve's Remix and we'll first do set mix preview. I've got some options here. Mix is the mix, uh, new version of vMix brought in mix inputs. Number one is the main switcher, which we'll be using for now. I'm going to turn on quick assign for speed. And as I hit add command, I'm assigning the first eight buttons. Now we've done eight, we'll move on to program. I'm going to set the input number back to one. Change this to set mix program. Again, we'll hit this eight times and those are mapped. For my effects row on the LC11, this is the top row of buttons. We've got a mix input in vMix and I'd like to be able to control that independently. Go set mix program again, we'll send the input number to one, but we'll change mix to two and again, we'll mash quick assign until we've got eight. I'd also like to assign my overlays. I've got two overlay channels in vMix today, so we'll go to toggle overlay. And I'll do I'll do fade overlay. I'll do as number one, and we'll do take overlay as number two. I would also like my auto on my take button, so we'll scroll over to them. Hit add command, and I'll add take, and that's done. The only other thing to do is add the T bar, which is an essential for any production. Don't trust anyone who doesn't use it religiously. I've now taken control over the remote vMix instance. So as you can see, as I hot punch across the preview row, you see the preview source change. I won't do the program row, otherwise we'll lose the screen capture. Effects row works as you'd expect. It's changing the program source on that mix input. I can also use my T-bar. Additionally, I've got two overlay channels. So I'll do number one, which is a GT lower third, and number two, which is the classic spinning cube. As we can see on his LC11, the feedback LEDs are exactly the same as mine. Thank you, Steve. So as we've seen, there are many uses for central control. If you've got any questions, please send me an email, info at centralcontrol.io, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you for watching. Colin, back to you.